everybody. My name is Khalil Grant, and I study engineering here at Tribes. Um, and I wanted to talk about the new ASG format, but in a way, this is more so about Kobe Bryant and how uh, the NBA decided to honor him. Um, I just wanted to put the names up of the victims in the crash, just so y'all know, and um, kind of remember them. That's their souls. Um, these are all of Kobe's accolades. Um, everything that he's earned throughout his NBA career. And the two that really stood out to me because I was, or I was alive at this point in time. It was a 60 point farewell game. Um, I was about five when he scored 81 on Toronto in 2006. Uh, yeah, his resume is, is huge and his impact is even greater. Um, so, because of his um, passing, the NBA proposed a new ASG format in honor of him. And um, right here, rather than rolling over the points like in any, any normal game, uh, the first three quarters are basically challenges. And whoever, whichever team wins each quarter, wins $100,000 toward their charity of choice. Um, so the fourth quarter is where the game gets really interesting. The All-Star game has always been known for its lack of uh, competitiveness, which is kind of ironic given the fact that uh, these are the best players in the world. So you really want to see the best game in the world. And, uh, it's kind of lost its fire throughout the years. But um, this new proposition, it, um, it, this, is, this is by far the best All-Star game I've ever seen in my life. And I feel like this was the perfect way to honor him, and they should continue to do so because if there's one thing that you know about Kobe, it's the fact that his uh, competitiveness is unmatched. So this was amazing. I love watching this game. It was basically like watching an all uh, a playoff game or even the finals. It was really <coughs> great. Um, but basically the fourth quarter is when, um, like I said, things start getting interesting. So Team LeBron was trailing after the third quarter and Team Giannis had 133. So basically the target score is 133 plus 24, you know, 24 on Kobe Bryant. Um, so that would make it 157. And um, for those of you who have played a pickup game, you know, there's no uh, clock, so you play your target score. For example, 21, let's say the, uh, one person has 20 points. He only needs one point to score. And you notice everyone else on the floor does everything in their power to stop that person from scoring, and it gets kind of crazy at times. That's basically what this was like. You know, like I said, the competitive nature was through the roof, and it was, it was great. Um, it came down to a free throw, which there were, a lot of people were skeptical about that because they felt like it wasn't as an interesting ending as it should have been. For me, I thought it was another vote to Cody because he scored his first point in the league at the free throw line. He scored his 81st point against Toronto at the free throw line. And his 60th point in his farewell game was at the free throw line. So I kind of feel like that won over a lot of people's heads, but it meant a lot to me. Um, but yeah. Uh, from now on, I think they should kind of eliminate that part. I feel like for the first year, it meant a lot, but after that, they should, uh, the team should be able to finish by an actual bucket. Um, and uh, they also honored his daughter, which I thought was really cool as well. Um, team LeBron wore number two, and then Team Giannis wore number 24. So there were only two numbers in this game.
this was one of his famous, um, I guess, altercations, you want to, uh, want to say, with Dwight Howard. And they kind of just said, you know, you you on earth crying because of my passing when you should be in the gym working, which means you saw Which I kind of think is funny because I feel a way we can honor Kobe as not just an athlete, but in life period is to do everything to the best of your ability and to keep working on your craft and to become the best you that you can be and to never let anything get in your way because that's exactly what you did. Uh, don't be soft. <laughs> Five forty two.